Hello and thank you for joining me. Now today I'd like to share with you some of the things you're likely to hear if you come to beautiful sunny Cornwall. I thought you might find it both informative and possibly amusing. And I'd like to dedicate this video to my mate Richard, who I call Murkdurd, because he talks in such a strong Cornish accent that I think most of the time even he doesn't know what he's saying. So I think we'll jump on the bike and make a, make a start. We'll bum around some back lanes and I'll give you some of the old Cornish phrases. Now accents and dialects don't only change as you cross the country. They can change as you cross a county. So although some of the things I say are true to my end of Cornwall, around Launceston, or Lanson, Liscard, Bodmin, Bude, etc. They may not, may not be the same if you head way down west. Things may alter slightly or even change completely. They mellows for it. I suppose the best way to do this is to create a scenario. But we'll start off with a greeting or two. There are many. But I think we'll just start with get on. Now get on obviously translates to get on. And get on is something you'll hear quite commonly. Or another one. What's on? What's on me buddy? Now first of all, buddy, although spelt the same, isn't, isn't to be confused with booty. Now buddy is a term of endearment and booty we'll get to at some point. So what's on me buddy? is like saying, what's going on mate? But don't forget, it's a greeting, not a question. So you wouldn't reply to, what's on me buddy? With a list of the things you were about to do. You might just say something like, all right, pard. So let's imagine I'm gonna give my mate a ring. See if he wants to go to the pub. So he answers the phone. I say, "Get on, my buddy. What be bout? Order north." Now, what be bout simply means what are you doing? What are you up to? What be bout? Order north. So that's something or nothing? So I say, I thought about getting down pub for a pint. What do you reckon? I thought about getting down pub for a pint. What do you reckon? So in English, that's, I thought about going for a pint down the pub. What do you think? And he may say, Yeah, yeah, bugger all. I ain't doing art. Yeah, proper. Yeah, proper being in full agreement. Let's go to the pub. So I'll say, where be two? Now, where be two? That's how we say, where are you? Where be two? He says, I'm down on Church Street. So I say, oh, booty. And there's that booty I was talking about. Booty just means 
Good. Great. Cool. Oh, booty. Also, go King's Arms. Now, it's also means we will. So, also go King's Arms. So he says, I'll be, I'll ride on. Ride on, he says, I'll be there directly. Now, directly is a very Cornish term. And a literal translation of directly is directly. But it's well known in Cornwall that directly simply means at some point in the future now that could be five minutes ten minutes or two years directly so he says yeah right on I'll be there directly so I say yeah proper oh drash on I'll be there fair be time. I'll drash on, I'll be there fair be time. That means I'll get a move on. I'll be there fair be time. That's another Cornish way of saying soon without actually putting a time on it. I'll be there fair be time. So there we are, I'm meeting my mate in the pub. We're at the bar. I get my pint, my pint of ale, and it's bloody handsome. Now, handsome could be anything. Like today, the weather's handsome. It could be an handsome pasty or an handsome tractor. Handsome's a good thing. But my mate's there looking all disappointed. I say, what's up, mate? He says, look at the aid on him. He's looking at his pint. There's two inches of froth at the top of his pint. He says, look at the aid on him. So, of course, what he means is, look at the head on it. Look at the aid on him. Anyway, we're supping away on our pints. And a stranger walks into the bar. And being all friendly like I am, I says, get on me buddy. Do we live for Monday? Now this is a phrase that had me many years ago when I was fitting a tractor tire for an old farmer on Bodmin Moor. I was working away as he was watching over me and he said do we live Brem Andy boy? I said pardon? Do we live Brem Andy? Uh, sorry? Do we live Brem Andy? Anyway I got him to repeat this phrase probably half a dozen times before admitting defeat and saying to him I'm sorry, I don't know what you're saying. It turns out, do we live Bramlande? Is a way of asking, are you local? Do you live around here? Do you live brave and handy? Go figure. Anyway, so I say it to the guy at the bar and he gives me a funny look and walks off of his pint. Well, my mate here took offence to that. And he says, We get any trouble off him. I'll up and very bowling. 
that's what he said all up and very bowling now if you're going to up and very bow someone that means you're going to give them a beating all up and very bowling Ah, no need for that mate we more right I said we more right we as we are anyway the hours pass by the ales slip down it's time to leave the pub we get outside I say it's bloody hell mate dogs are sack here or dogs a cow's guts that basically means it's really dark dark's a sack dark's a cow's guts and I think we'll end it by saying goodbye I say good to see you mate, good to see you. I'll see you again Now see you again I will see you again See you again my buddy So there you go, just a few of the things you're likely to hear if you come to beautiful sunny Cornwall. Hope you enjoyed it. All a bit of fun. Now until next time, take care. Ciao for now. Bye bye. See you again.